how the dynamics can really change from an investor's perspective the mindset always really has to be about building a large world class organization and an alignment there and not really being so overawed by packing one company packing a founder necessarily uh, akila and amita who wants to really go first on this and and how do these motivations really change when you're such a high growth startup and uh, you're chasing the valuation and seeing to it that your competitor is not necessarily funded by another large vc fund so how do you make sure that as a board you are on the right track on some of these things yes sure uh, i'll go first so i think a lot of interesting questions you have raised shrija uh, to be on the board of a listed company or of a startup or a high growth company in today's day and age in india is a challenge uh, what we are seeing uh, day in and day out play out is that a board member has to be a super person who is able to be a watchdog a conscience keeper ensure compliance and also ensure shareholder value and maintain stakeholder interest it's it's like a huge task and we are seeing this play out in different ways and uh, what on one side we see highly active independent directors there are there is a majority of the indian listed boards have undergone a huge change in the last 3 or 4 years at least personally speaking what i have seen and the tick box approach no longer works we see a much higher participation of independent directors when it comes to a corporate transaction when it comes to a related party transaction and every investment dispute a shareholder dispute frankly at the first level is played out at the board level before it's played out at any other forum right so we see a huge role played by directors especially independent directors when it comes to you know managing and balancing interests and i think we also see the flip side of it we see independent directors also trying to run the business we see a little bit of an overreach in some places where in their enthusiasm to be conscience keepers sometimes they interfere in the management so we have seen all kinds of things play out at boards and it is not an easy job to be a director in this day and age and that is where i think it is important to get good advisors to make sure that you are complying with the spirit and letter of the law but at the same time you are aware that people who have invested in the company are investing not for the board to run the company but they have put their faith in the promoter or the management or the existing management i don't even want to go into whether it's a founder or a professional or whatever that is people value expertise the board is a separate function than management and these twin engines should run and run smoothly for everything to be working well for the stakeholder right i think himanshu mentioned about alignment of interest when everything is going well business is doing well there is no covid there is no uh, you know external factors in disruption everybody's interest is aligned no problem right no problem in complying no problem no problem in uh, making sure everybody's happy but when disputes happen i think that's when the board's role becomes even more nuanced because it is not only to do justice to all the laws of the land as far as governance are concerned but also seen to have done justice and that's a huge task because not everything is recorded not everything is put on uh, you know is available to be proved so there we find board board uh, members uh, struggle a bit in making sure that they are doing the right thing and tomorrow they are not pulled up because today the regime is i wouldn't say brutal there is a lot of safe harbor for them as well but then it is not easy they can be pulled up they can be questioned they, things could get uncomfortable so that's where i think uh, the job of a director in any kind of board startup listed old economy new economy is no longer easy and it requires some people of very good metal uh, your second question on um, founder and external ceo i think it's important that the laws that we have the regulations that we have should preserve the entrepreneurial streak that is going on today in the country i think in our enthusiasm to kind of regulate we should not miss the big picture that we have reached so far because of the people who've taken the risk who've taken the call 
and and the uh, who've had the appetite to bring a companies to a certain level so i think there's some kind of balancing and i think it is already being done if you look at it there are so many sectors who are which are today high growth are not regulated people ask us like you know when when especially uh, people from other countries when we do due diligence in some of the sectors in india i'm not going to go into names they are surprised that these sectors there are no licenses there are no laws they can we can transfer some kind of data very happily all over the world and you don't have to get consent people are very surprised at the kind of regimes we have which is actually a uh, fostering more growth and giving about uh, you know a huge fillip to this whole entrepreneurial streak that we had the whole unicorn story that you uh, you know mentioned so i think whilst it is great as uh, himanshu is opening remarks mentioned that we have a very robust set of regulators they are talking to each other much more not only amongst each other amongst various divisions but even to each other much more than they used to there is more transparency it is easy to get things fact checked with them before we do anything uh, but at the same time there is also a little bit of gray which helps growth uh, and i think that's where the management the board and the rest of the stakeholders like such as investors proxy advisors all of us should be conscious of not disrupting the great story that we have today so that's that's my uh, initial remarks amita 